lifetime, from Canada through a Shaolin temple in China to Jerusalem. Nick Spork learned to master Kung Fu as a path to spiritual and physical development. Fu is basically uh, a term used to describe hard work. But now in the Western world, we generally use this term to describe Chinese martial arts. And that's not one particular style. There's hundreds and hundreds of styles that, you know, use the term Kung Fu. Nick brought his knowledge of martial arts to Israel to share with others the deep secrets of this oriental wisdom which combines mind and energy really to, to the individual like in the modern world it, it's mostly for your health you know and for self-defense of course that's the other ma major benefit to practicing martial arts um, in the old world I mean it was the main people didn't carry guns they didn't have guns they had to you know how to defend themselves with what they had in their, that's their body but what are the difference between Kung Fu and Krav Maga the Israeli martial art Kung Fu involves a lot of repetitive training over and over again to change your body. You want to make your body stronger, tougher, faster, more balanced, more, you want to move more precisely. I mean, Krav Maga also is going to do this, but Kung Fu is more extreme. I mean, back in the old days when they didn't have TVs and radios and internet, I mean, people, all they did was train. They didn't have anything else to do. So they'd really become a high-level practitioner by doing this. That's what Kung Fu means. It's hard work. Kung Fu in Jerusalem. Once more, the Holy Land is a crossroads in a universe of cultures and lives. 